Sharing and collaborating with colleagues and suppliers using Onshape is easy. A simple click of the share button eliminates the need to export an email's files. However, if you need to 3D print your Onshape designs or reuse them in another CAD system, then you must export them in one of several neutral file formats depending upon the target recipient. You can export a single part, multiple parts, an entire part studio, or an assembly or drawing in any number of different file formats. To export one or more parts, right click the parts in the parts list and select export, or select one or more parts in the graphics area, right click and select export. To export sketches, right click on the sketch feature in the part studio and choose export as DXF DWG. To export an entire part studio, assembly, or drawing, right click the tab at the bottom of the screen and select export. Onshape can export a variety of 2D and 3D CAD file formats. To see the latest list of supported CAD file formats and their versions, go to the Help menu in the top right corner and select Help. Scroll down until you find Importing and Exporting Files. Click the plus icon, select Supported File Formats, then Export Formats. Here, you will see an up-to-date list of all the part, assembly, and drawing files formats that can be exported from Onshape. Once you select Export, the Export Options dialog appears. The first text field contains the name of the file that will be exported. By default, it will be set to either the tab name, or in the case of a single part, the tab name plus the part name. The next option is the format type. For the CAD specific file formats, which are available for parts only, and the neutral file formats, there is only one further choice to make. Whether to download the file, store it in a new tab, both, email to a recipient, or store it in an integrated storage service. Downloading the file will convert your selected parts, assemblies, or drawings into your chosen format and download it to your computer. Choosing to store the file in a new tab will create a new tab in your document and store the file there. This is useful if you want to keep a copy of the exported file for further reuse, or if you want to share the exported file with another person. Sharing and collaboration will be discussed in a future video. The third option is to do both. You can email with a download link of the files by typing in an email address, add a subject, message, how long the link stays active, and if a password is required to access the downloadable link. When the recipients receive the email, they are given the link to the file. If checked, a password is required to access the file. Once the recipient enters the password, the file begins to download. The last export option is to save the file in an integrated storage service. This option is available when an integrated storage service is connected. Notice that the previously used settings for exporting are remembered and set as your default. This is useful if you only ever export in one format, or you need to do many exports in the same format. Default options for exporting in both 2D and 3D file formats are stored with your account. The most reliable file format to use is Parasolid. This is because Onshape uses the Parasolid modeling kernel, so there is no data translation between the sending and receiving system. If the receiving system does not support Parasolid, the next best format would be STEP or the CAT specific file format if you know which CAT system the file will be imported into. For Parasolid, you can export to a particular version number. This is useful if the receiving system can only read older formats. Exporting in an older format may provide better compatibility with more systems due to the yearly update schedules of traditional CAD or CAM systems. Alternatively, you can check Always Use Latest, so when Onshape is updated, your default export settings will always use the latest version of Parasolid. The final option will be explained in a moment. The STL file format, commonly used for 3D printing, converts your 3D models into triangular surface meshes. Here, there are a number of options you can choose to affect the output, such as format, either text or binary, units, and resolution, which you might want to set to coarse for a first off prototype, then fine for a final print, or for even more control, you can set it to custom. These three options affect the tessellation of non-planar surfaces. Setting these to small values will give you a better resolution on curved surfaces and small features, but will make the file size bigger and processing time longer and may not necessarily give you a better print. You may need to experiment with these settings to suit your 3D printer and to get the quality of output you need. 
the final option, which is for STL and Parasol output only, is to export multi-part part studios or assemblies as individual files. This is perfect if you want to 3D print an assembly, but can only print each part separately. When exporting an entire part studio or an assembly, all parts and services will be included whether they are hidden or not. You can prevent some parts or services from being included in the export by suppressing parts in an assembly or using the delete part in a part studio before exporting. For 2D drawings, you can export in DXF, DWG, DWT, or PDF, which will give you a very high quality vector output. Text within a PDF can be exported as normal or selectable. For older versions of DXF and DWG file formats, some drawing elements are not supported. Some support geometry only, so no dimensions, notes, or title blocks, and some support model space only. The later versions of this format also support paper space. You can export just the current sheet or all sheets in one file. Hide or show underlined text for dimensions that are not to scale, and whether to export text as a text object or convert it to a series of lines. Finally, in a part studio, you can also export a single sketch or a single planar face as a DXF or DWG file. Right click a sketch from the feature list or from the graphics area, or right click a planar solid or surface and select export to DXF DWG. Here, you can select the type and the version of the file you want to export. The last option is to reorient faces which are not parallel to the Z direction. More details on exporting CAD files can be found in the Onshape Help.